around right now. I, I'm seeing you everywhere, so thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, that, so now you're, first of all, I know you've been doing this a long time. It's not like you're an overnight success. You've been struggling for 10 years and you almost quit, right? That's right. Um, last November, even, um, was sitting out in front of a club after I'd played in Nashville and talking with my drummer and I was like, man, things are just not adding up anymore. I, I'm gonna have to quit. And he was like, no, you gotta stay, you have to stay with it. And I did, and just a couple of weeks later, I got an email from The Voice and that opportunity became available and look at me now. And then you get picked by Blake and then you go all the way and you're standing there and what, what were your thoughts? Did you think, I'm gonna win? Did you think, I don't have a shot? Where were you in your head? Um, I was praying to goodness that uh, it wasn't like everything else that had happened in my in my career because it's been like a big roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Almost there, almost about to grab it, and then it would be pulled away from me. Yeah. And I was like, please don't, please don't be pulled away again. Yeah. And it didn't. It didn't. It was it was brought to you, and it was the time for it to happen, obviously. But I do believe that is. I think everybody that is an artist needs to struggle and needs to have all those years behind you because to prepare you for what's ahead. It's it's uh, it's a tough business. It's, it definitely makes me grateful. Yeah. Good. Well, that's the most. I think the most important thing for anybody in whatever you do is gratitude. So, um, all right. So you will sing. This is a song that's supposed to be for Blake, right? And, that's right. And it is your song now, and it's the song you sang when you won. So. Would you do us the honors? Absolutely. All right, fantastic. Just look at that smile on her face. 